was yesterday and gave me the news and obviously disappointed for uh, the connections I've been seeing or that they uh, had to miss it because I hate, hate that for anybody to be in the derby and they have to pull out but we we're sitting on the subs bench and we're, we're happy to take his place. I heard you say that you'd been working him as though he was going to run this whole time so what have you seen from him the last couple of weeks? And oh, Look we've trained him as if he's going to run the derby and um, he's been training great, he's sharp, he's fit, he only ran the bluegrass um, less than a month ago so you know he's if he's not fit now he's never going to be fit uh, but look it's kind of wrap him up in cotton wool now and keep him fresh keep him sharp and uh, just let him uh, adapt and see what's happening around here in Churchill Downs. You could have run in the Pet Day Mile and been assured of running Derby Day albeit not in the Derby opted to take your chances so you know the best that you're gonna draw is 20 or if there's another scratch 19. Talk about the decision to just play the waiting game for the derby versus going with a race like the Pat Day Mile. That was pretty easy, you know, for one Kentucky Derby. Uh, I think the horses have a lot of speed, but I think going this extra distance will help my horse. Um, I don't think the mile and a quarter is a problem. Um, and the owners were just, since he, before he ever ran the maiden, they were like derby dreaming, so it's great that we came to fruition. You take some um, encouragement from Eric Reed. A couple of years ago, and he acted like he was going to get in, and sure enough, that he it was Oaks morning before he knew he was in. Yeah, no, look, uh, this is the Kentucky Derby. It's like uh, anything can happen. Um, so just, that, look, it, it's. I think if you're in it, you have a chance to win it. And uh, I'm not coming here to just making up the numbers type thing. I actually think my horse has a legitimate chance. So let's see how it goes. Uh, talk about tactically breaking from post twenty. Um. I actually kind of like it to be honest. Um, you can see everyone on our inside what's happening. The horse is not slow. So they're going to go forward, and you know, if, they're, if my horse is not comfortable, they're probably going too fast because my horse is a quick horse, and we won't be far away from the lead. I don't think we'd land the lead, but we won't be far away. And if we, if we get a nice stock and clean trip, uh, I'd be delighted. Let's talk about his race in the bluegrass when he was third. Ed, I thought it was a huge effort. Uh, obviously, Sierra Leone he won the race as a favourite, or won the favourites for the Derby here on Saturday. Uh, just a touch, another highly rated horse just in front of us. And it was my horse's first try in the dirt. Uh, he didn't do anything wrong. And uh, I think we're only going to improve from that. What did Adam tell you about how he felt on the dirt, his first time racing on true dirt versus on the, on the synthetic? Uh, Adam has always said actually after he broke his maiden at Turfway and the first thing he said to me after he broke his maiden he just said listen, he doesn't like it to be that he would be better on the dirt uh, so we obviously were stable in Lexington so we campaigned through the winter at, at Turfway and we were excited to get him on the dirt we took him to Keeneland to breeze over before the bluegrass he breezed fantastic and uh, he ran fantastic on it so you know I, I look I think he's a versatile horse but I don't think dirt is an issue so you said Adam said he didn't like the Tapita that much, but yeah, he's still a stakes winner on it. What does that say about the quality of this horse? Well, he's, he's, he, look, he's, he's got a huge engine. He's got a, as you can see behind us, he's got a great demeanor. Um, I think there's loads of quality and I still think there's more to come. I think the back end of this year, he's going to be a, an even better horse. But this isn't an easy work for you. you got a barn full. you got 50 horses at the Thoroughbred Center in uh, Lexington. So you come. He trains, you go back, you know, rinse and repeat. I mean, just talk about, have you been able to really sort of enjoy the perks of being in the Derby? This is not work, uh, Jenny. This is not work. This is enjoyment. This is, this is, this is like what dreams are made of. Uh, driving up in, any person, any trainer in America would love to be driving up and down the road five times a day just to come here and see a horse in the Derby, your own horse in the Derby, and uh, it's all worth it. It's, it's fantastic. Can you speak to what getting into the Derby does for your business? Uh, well, obviously this is the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does for your business, I guess. This is a, my, obviously my first time uh, being in this situation. I never ran the grade one up until the bluegrass. Um, so, I'm, look, I, look, I'm sure it's it's going to get me a little bit of notice. Um, I'm not one for chasing down uh, clients or owners or anything like that. Um, and look, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm enjoying the ride. I'm going to take it all in. I'm going to soak it up. It's, it's just, I'm just so blessed and lucky to be here. Did you know he had some quality before he started? And did you have any, give, give any consideration to taking him to, you know, New Orleans or, or Florida? Or? Yeah, we always liked him. Um, he was unlucky in his first start. We thought he'd win his first start. He ran second. Kind of just 
drawing the one hole going six prongs is kind of difficult for a first timer. And uh, he was just, he was just like always a step ahead. He's just, he's just a good horse. He's just, we've always liked him. Now, to think that he was going to be a great one horse or in running the derby, you know, I've had loads of horses that uh, trained good but never progressed to where he is. But this is, he keeps progressing and he keeps taking a step forward. So. Yeah, yeah, we've always liked him, but he's the good horses keep progressing. And that's basically it. Had you ever had a horse that was this close to the Derby before? Like, had you had your heart I've, broken before? No, never, never. I've never been to the Derby. I've never even come here. I've lived here about 14 years now, and I've never even come to the Derby. And I said I wouldn't come to the Derby unless uh, I had a horse running. And I said it might never happen. I might never go to the Derby, but here it is. I'm here now and kind of getting a taste for it. So hopefully, I can do it again sometime.